Big Bomb Ogre here. Got a quick video on installing Windows 7 from a from a memory stick for you, just to demo how much faster it can be if you're not being held back by the, the DVD-ROM drive. The memory stick I'm using is this one. It's a Corsair Flash Voyager GT, a USB 3.1. Uh, and I'm going to be installing it uh, from a USB 3.0 port. See the, the, the blue port? It's a USB 3.0 port. Uh, this is on the the gaming PC I've been demoing in my the recent unboxing videos I've done. We're on a currently on a Sabretooth uh, 990FX motherboard from uh, with an AMD CPU. So uh, let's get started. Now it doesn't say on the post screen on these, but uh, if we spam F8 while it's coming on, we'll get the uh, the boot devices menu. You can go into the setup and. You get the option to go straight from there, but if you just hit, keep hitting F8, you'll get the menu. There we go. So, Corsair Voyager GT 3.0. Let's boot from that. should see that this boots pretty quick. So the, the Flash Voyager GT drives, uh, I think they're over 70 megabytes per second read and write. But obviously we don't, we don't have any seek time either because they're, they're flash memory. Right, I'm going to quickly change it to the UK because I'm in the UK. Maybe a little bit closer. Okay, let's go for it. It's going to be Windows Home Premium. Uh, we'll go custom. We want disk one because we're we're installing to an OCZ drive. That's a, an OCZ a Gil, no, a, a Vertex four, I think. Okay, this should take a little bit longer than usual. There's quite a lot of uh, additional bundled apps with this. Uh, but we'll see, shouldn't take too long. I'll run through what e extra bundled apps are included with it when we get to the end. Um, I'll sort of pop into the control panel and show you what, what we get extra. Nothing massive, but we've also had a few things trimmed out of Windows, a few things pre set up. This is a partially unattended setup.
this better be quick because my uh, my camera battery just come up as low on battery. 14% left. If you've sat and watched all this expanding Windows files, I'm impressed. I, I'm gonna. The, there is a link in the video to skip straight ahead to the end of the expanding. See, as you can see, uh, once files are expanded, everything's pretty pretty quick. So the drive that's in it, we've got a solid state drive. 560 megabits read, um, 550 I think megabits write. Can't remember the IOPS, but they're pretty high. I think we're around the five minute mark now. After my intro, I think we started a little after two minutes, we're just after seven now. So. I'm going to try and leave any, uh, any technical details till the end when I show off the program so that I can put a skip ahead link for any of you just watching this to see how quick it takes and anyway, who doesn't want to watch the whole video. I've not bundled any drivers with this, they're all the Windows defaults. Uh, hopefully we'll get it running alright. Once it's the most common set of hardware, save a tooth for the board, but spend the money, you'd hope that they'd uh, get the drivers pushed out of Windows update as well. I've got a set of the up to date drivers on the memory stick ready to go, but I thought I'd, I'd leave the Windows installation uh, standard driver wise for now. Coming up on the 8 minute mark. This takes much longer, I'm going to have to get a faster memory stick.
quite glad with the saber tooth motherboards they reboot quite fast um, the last motherboard I had with the UEFI BIOS took forever to to boot the motherboard get past the the RAID controller took sort of 30 seconds or so uh, as you can see as you'll see once this this reboots the the Saber 2 series are like lightning one thing I've noticed with Asus laptops the 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 post tests run through really quick uh, it gets straight to booting windows within just a few seconds so it's quite disappointing the last motherboard I had to to take so long but so thankfully the Sabertooth ones aren't aren't a problem. I am running on the latest BIOS update for for this um, so maybe that helps. Also got some quite beasty components in it. Camera's really low now, we're down below 10%, just better hurry up. So you'll see now how quick the, the motherboard does its post tests. Typically, it's taking longer than it ever has before. I hope everything's okay. I've not burn tested this PC yet. All brand new. I've had a problem with Asus boards before actually, struggling to boot with certain USB drives connected. Maybe this one's decided uh, to throw a wobbly. It certainly seems to have got stuck. Let's reset it. Here we go, right, let's uh, just type some random stuff in. Uh, I'm not going to put password for now. I'm not going to put the product key in now. Uh, recommended updates. Time's wrong, but I'll leave that for now.
Right, we've got to restart, so what we'll do, we'll, we'll class it as uh, done once we do this restart. And then we'll do a quick demo of some of the extra apps in, included. Okay, we're down to 4% battery now, so I'm going to very quickly run through the included apps. Without, I'm not going to bother with any of the settings. Right, let's go straight to the control panel first off. Show all. Just a quick run through. Uh, we've got CPU-Z. Uh, Apologise if I miss any. Hopefully you can read them if you've got a good monitor. GPU-Z, HD-Tune. Uh, hardware monitor, uh, Specy. Uh, that's it for the ones in the control panel. Oh, start up control panel, of course. As I say, I'm trying to be quick because the battery's about flat. Okay, we've got Oslogic Registry Defrag. Not going to need that because I'm on a solid state. GIMP 2, Prime 95, TCP IP Patcher. Um, 7-zip, daemon tools, deep burner, defragler, do not defragment a solid state drive, you'll destroy it, resource hacker, spy bot and waterfox, I think that's the old version of waterfox actually but never mind, um, and that's pretty much it for now, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, if you please like the video, subscribe, I'm going to put up a full benchmark of this later but I think for now I'm going to have to I have to end this video here before my camera goes flat and uh, I lose the video. So please keep your eye out. I'll, like I say, I'll, I'll do the full benchmarks and a breakdown of the system in a in an upcoming video. See you all soon.